What's going on guys, I'm Matt from SB Fishing TV here with Carl's Mystery Tackle Box. Today we're gonna go over a few pond fishing tips. So this one is for my boys, my bank beaters, my pond fishermen. It's one of my favorite things to do and I really don't do it enough anymore, but it's a great way to catch a ton of fish and a great way to catch a lot of big bass too. So one of the better things about pond fishing over lake or river fishing is that the fish are going to be more confined. So you're going to have a much less area to cover and you can cover it really quickly and efficiently and pond hopping is a great way to catch some giant bass. So I have a few baits we're going to go over and I'm going to give you guys a few more tips as to how to catch more fish in ponds today. All right, let's take a quick look at some of the baits that I have today that we're going to fish this pond with. So first up, we have the Ike's Mini Flip Jig. So the reason that I like the Mini Flip Jig so much is because it's a lot more compact jig than your standard half ounce flipping jig or football jig. It's gonna give these pond fish a little bit easier meal to eat. So that's one thing I like to do when I'm fishing ponds is downsize a bit. I find that using smaller baits, these fish are gonna have an easier time eating and you're gonna catch a lot more fish that way. Which brings me up next to the drop shot. So a drop shot is an awesome bait to throw anywhere, lake, river, pond but especially in ponds I find it works super well. The bait we're throwing on it today is the 10,000 fish shimmer shad. Now this bait is a four inch compact shad bait but it can also mimic minnows or bluegill or whatever sort of bait fish that a pond may have. So this is a pretty awesome profile to it. The way the tail tapers down gives it so much action even when you're sitting there just barely shaking the rod this tail is just going crazy. And last but not least, we have the Lucky Craft crankbait. This is a one and a half inch square bill crankbait, really great for covering water when you get out on the pond and you just wanna work your way around it as fast as you can to find fish, which is what I typically tend to do. I'm gonna throw the crankbait. Just beat the banks, make a lot of parallel casts and 45 degree angle casts down the bank and just walk back and forth. That way you can find a lot of fish and then you can slow it down with the jig or the drop shot and you'll be able to pick a few more off. So we're gonna pick this square bill up. It's a bluegill pattern noticed a lot of bluegill swimming around. What we're gonna do is just work our way down the dam, making these 45 degree casts along the bank, just trying to smash it off any of these rocks and loose wood that we can see. Just giving it a steady retrieve, a couple of pulls of the rod here and there, see if we can get anything to bite this square bill. Really just trying to move a lot of water with this, not spending too much time in any area. If there's any active fish in the area, you should be able to pick them up with the crankbait pretty easily. Now here's another really good tip and area to look for when you're fishing ponds, especially when you're fishing ponds with not too much cover. If you can find any shaded areas, like right off of this dam here, those are usually gonna hold fish. Now they may not eat this crankbait right now, but if I come back in a second with the drop shot or the jig and just slowly drag it through that area, it might work really, really well. So the fish use that shade as cover. And I find that in ponds, they stack up on those shade lines in any sort of shaded bank areas a lot more than if you're fishing a lake or a river because in those areas, they typically have a lot more cover. Oh, that's good. So I worked my way down this bank with the crankbait. Did not get any action yet. We're gonna work our way back. And you guys can see that I'm really just covering as much water as I can. This crankbait, just making a bunch of casts down the bank, walking back and forth. That's something I definitely like to do when I'm fishing ponds, just so you can get all the way around it and try to locate where the fish are or where they're gonna be. No luck with the crankbait, but I wanna take this drop shot with the shimmer shad. Go over here to the dam and throw this around a little bit. Should have a little bit deeper water. As I was talking about that shade line earlier too, it should hold a couple fish if there's anything down here. So another good spot to check is an area just like this. You guys can see the wind is blowing directly at us and in a body of water like a pond, it's a lot smaller than a lake. Even though it does play in lakes and rivers, it's gonna be even more evident in small bodies of water like this. That most banks getting pounded with the wind are gonna have a little bit more fish. One thing I really like to do in ponds is always count my bait down to see how deep that I'm fishing. So whatever bait you're fishing, you can see how long it takes to reach the bottom. So say right here, we got two feet of water. It's one, two, so this about two seconds. So we can say that this bait falls at about a foot a second. So when you cast it out, you just count down to see how long it takes. 
So that took about eight seconds. I'm assuming it's about eight feet out there, which is pretty shallow. This is a really shallow pond. I thought it would be a little bit deeper than that. But this is most likely the deepest point of the lake. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right on the grass edge. Little one. Come on, buddy. He ate that shimmer shad up, though. All right, guys, one more tip I want to give you before I end this video off is one of the best ways to take a look at a pond that you're not familiar with, or even if you are familiar with it, make sure you check out a satellite image of the pond that you're going to go fish, and you can see some of the shallow areas, the deeper areas, any sort of points, humps, grass lines, things like that. So make sure you check that out. That's where I'm going to end this video off. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video on pond fishing. Make sure you take some of the tips that I gave you today and go out and catch some bigger fish than I did. So make sure you hit that subscribe button on Carl's Mystery Tackle Box. I'll catch you all on the next one.